Hi, um, I'm Nadia Shea. I work out of the Austin office for MLC CAD. I've been with MLC for about two years and I am one of the application engineers. Okay, let's take a look at DriveWorks Express. This is a great introduction to design automation. So the first thing I'm going to show you in DriveWorks Express is actually the end result. So you want to take a look at the end result and see the usefulness of this product and how it's going to apply to you. So again, I'm going to go to the tools, the drop down, and DriveWorks Express. I have a database already set up. And basically what has happened here is I create stairways. And I don't want to spend a lot of time kind of fine tuning my stairways for each individual customer. So I've created a bunch of rules and equations that are actually going to drive the design of my stairways. And this is a form that I can actually pass off to my customer or to my salespeople so they can customize the type of stairway they want. So this is the very beginning of DriveWorks Express. You'll see that I have an active database. It's industrial stairs. And I'm going to go ahead and run this model. So. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at this form that I've actually created. I've created this form that has the type of models of stairs, and I have industrial U-shaped, industrial straight stairs, 90-degree stairs, stairs with guardrails, a 90-degree guardrail, a U-shaped guardrail, and a caged ladder stairways. So the customers or the salesperson can go in and pick any one of these stairs and drive and pick some attributes of it so that will that SOLIDWORKS will go in and automatically create it without the engineer having to do any of that tedious mundane work. So we're going to pick the U-shaped sta stair and click next. Now I have a second sheet in my form and what's going to actually happen here is I'm going to have a floor to floor height. Notice as I hover over each one of these text boxes I have some values. I've actually said beforehand that my stairs can only be between 16 and 288. So these are actually in metric, so I don't want you to get too worried about the numbers here. So in between 16 and 168, let's actually go ahead and pick, I'm sorry, 288. Let's pick an odd number. We'll pick 189.7. Now for the stair angle in degrees, I can go anywhere between 32 and 42 in steps of 0 0.1. So I'm going to go choose a let's say at 39.6 degrees of stair angle. The width of stairs needs to be between 36 and 108. And I, I like a nice wide stair, so we'll go ahead and do a nice round 100. Step nosing, again, I can be 0 0.5, 1, and 1.5. I like the one, so I'll leave it there. Direction, we'll do a right. And handrail, we're going to go ahead and put a handrail on both sides. And the handrail height, we're going to go ahead and leave that at 37 and we'll go ahead and click next. So what this is actually doing is it has a master model with equation set to it and it's going to go ahead and try to generate this particular stairway using all the rules and equations I set for you. Notice that you can kind of see in the background if I can move this that it's actually opening up these files, it's actually changing dimensions, it's changing relationships and wow, that was really fast. It's already done. So if I just click close here, I can see the perfect stairwells that I created right then with all the attributes that I fixed. Now again, this is not creating a configuration of the master assembly. This is actually creating all new part files. So very quickly, I can generate all the files I need to manufacture this stairwell without eating up an engineer's time. And we can all see a benefit in that because we want our engineers to concentrate on newer and better designs, not doing mind-numbing, tedious work that we can actually set up the computer to do for us. So let's take a look at what DriveWorks is actually doing. I'm going to go back into my DriveWorks Express. And instead of actually running this, let's actually look at the models. We're going to create or change the database. We're going to edit the models. And you can see that I've actually put these models in, all the different types of stairs. Click Next. The initial form that we actually had created, notice that these are some dimensions. The first floor height, second floor height. These are all dimensions that we're having DriveWorks Express go ahead and capture for us. You notice that this is quite a bit. Click Next. This is the form that we've actually created. So DriveWorks allows us to pick all of these forms. And once we have all that information, we're going to actually look at all the rules. So I have 221 rules here. Edit all the rules. Click Next. And you can see that most of these rules are just naming dimensions. 
but we actually specified a, quite a bit of rules. Now the nice thing about Driver's Express is if you can see here, it's going to be able to handle if and statements, boolean statements, which is much more robust than what we can do with configurations. We can always do if and statements with design tables, but Driver's Express natively supports if and solutions. So you can look at all the equations here and it previous and we can just go to the run tab again I'm going back to the exact same form that we used to create it so again this is a great tool the initial time investment is a little bit but if you were to actually recreate a lot of these stairs maybe you know if you're if you were to recreate them 20 times it probably takes one of your engineers maybe two three four five business days to create all the files for custom stairwells where this product actually created it in less than 10 minutes so a great tool to kind of keep in your back pocket and use in the future